What's up, everybody? <laughs> it's Poppy Lordy here coming to you with another video. Okay, so first of all, this reading, mm, this reading gonna be something. I ain't gonna lie. Like, so I'm just gonna tell y'all, you know, P doesn't sugarcoat for nobody. Um, if you're not prepared to hear the message, then you gotta go. I'm sorry. I mean, or just prepare yourself. I just have to say that because there was some stuff that was coming up. Which, you know, it comes with the territory. You know, coworkers be a, going into like, how, how do our coworkers feel and blah, blah, blah. You know, it could get sticky. Cause people be faking, baby, okay. But anyway, look at this. My nails are not done. They're definitely really dirty underneath here. I've been eating a lot of baklava, so yeah, that's the thing. I'm getting them done after this video. So I'm gonna try to be Speedy Gonzalez, but get the message out, okay? So without further ado, let's get started. So we're gonna be looking at how do my coworkers feel about me? How do your coworkers feel about you, okay? So we have Pile 1 with the Palo Santo, baby. Palo 2, Palo 2. <laughs> Palo 2 with my little coin. I was supposed to be a cigar ambassador back when I used to smoke the little, I was gonna say the Bleezies, Lord, not the Bleezies, but the Cigarros, the Cigarellos. I call them big blood, but no, um, anyway, I'm sorry. But uh, <laughs> back when I used to smoke the cigars, so my little coin, right? And then we had a little penny here. I couldn't grab nothing else, so like I was like, I'm not gonna do the lighter. It was gonna be the orange lighter. Okay, we lost the penny. So that's gonna be pile three. So choose intuitively, you know the drill, okay? And I see you guys at your pile. Baby, <laughs> pile one, talk to me. What, what y'all got going on at work, okay? So I'm not gonna lie. This reading is for specific people. Like, I'm going to try to tell the message as general as possible. Y'all know I always like to give that little disclaimer. But the way these messages was coming out, like, I was like, okay, everybody be going through this. So let me just tell y'all what I wrote down. Girl, <laughs> first of all, pile one, your number was 333, okay? Um, I'm not going to lie, the first word that came to me first two words started with an n someone at your job's name could start with an n um i'm hearing first name but it could be first middle initial i don't know i mean if you know that much then that's you um or there's and i keep getting this older woman okay but also um the letter r and I wasn't getting an older woman in a visual, but I keep thinking about this lady that I used to work with. She just popped up in my mind. So some of y'all could have a boss that's a woman. Okay, this is the thing. This is the thing. Or you could be the boss that's a woman. This is the thing. This is the thing. The word was nuisance and naughty. And the, I put Robert and then make jealous came through. So let me just tell you what I was getting, okay? Just stay with me because there's some good messages but I have to get this out. So pile one. Were y'all dating someone at work or is there somebody that's been trying to talk to you that you've been kind of like giving a little cold shoulder to or like someone that's been trying to get you to like maybe take up their shifts or like, it's like somebody's been coming to you to try to like get you to do something and you like have not been taking the bait. And there's someone that's very upset about that and there's also someone that wants your forgiveness at work. That's the first thing. And I'm not gonna lie for my males watching this, there is somebody, actually, let me not say that. But I keep getting it. There's a male here that's jealous of you at your job. But I keep seeing a male, like y'all being males and then there's another male that's jealous of you. Or maybe for my feminines, or my, let me not say it like that, my women, maybe you're carrying masculine energy. There's somebody in your environment. And I feel like going back to what I said, I kept seeing a woman during my little visual, but I feel like all these people involved are carrying more masculine energy. And there's something about you being able to do their job a little bit better than them, okay? Some of y'all can be born in Mississippi, okay? I don't know. I don't know, but it's like, it's like someone's upset and I have pile one. If you work with someone you liked, they are upset and then, okay, that's all I have for y'all. There could be a circle of people like, are y'all younger and maybe y'all have a group of friends? See, I don't like to do that at work. The group of friends thing, I don't really do. Um, I used to do, no, nah, no, nah, even, not even back then. I mean, I had my friends, but those was my OGs, but like in the military, like, uh, da, da, da. Eh, we were together, but that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. You got to watch with the coworkers. You got to watch with the coworkers. So 
I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, you know what I just heard? Looking at this, burning bridges. Man, let's see what's going on here. Whoever this is, this could be someone used to go on smoke breaks with, with or they could smoke. Uh, I just heard wick. This person could be wicking or someone could be wicking here. That's what was it was giving me power one. Okay, so your first card, let me just show this to you. We have change of seasons. I know, let me tell y'all, somebody at y'all job knows that you want to leave the job. I forgot. Let me let me let me tell you because I saw y'all cards. It's like there are people at your job, because I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if y'all work with like a group of people. What I said earlier still stands. But back to what I was also saying, it's like someone knows that you could do their job better. Or like maybe you're just destined to be in a different position. I think people know that you don't really like your job um, or you don't like the position that you're in at your job and that you can actually probably take their position, especially if they're higher than you or you could probably be working somewhere else and making more money. It's like they know that your potential is a lot bigger and I feel like a lot of them know that you don't like the job. Like somebody knows that you don't really want to be here, okay? But anyway, <laughs> some of y'all might be about to quit. Somebody knows that. Yeah, I keep hearing like she swears she don't. Um, or she she swear we don't know she about to quit. No, <laughs> or she trying to get a way out. So we have the page of swords in reverse. Judgment. Let me see if I could turn this down. This is my new cards. Let me see. Ooh. Okay, sorry if you can't see this, just listen to me. Judgment. <laughs> the seven of I'm sorry, I'm laughing because boy, I feel like y'all about to make a great escape to get the frick up out of this job. Um, anyway, judgment, the seven of pentacles. I feel like there's someone at your job that underestimated you. And you made a great, I don't know, like y'all might be drawn a pile too. It's like Somebody underestimated you. You might have been new or maybe, ooh, two different storylines. Give me one second, y'all. Two of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. I'm telling y'all, first of all, first of all, one storyline that I have, I'm going to give y'all the specifics and then we'll go into the general. Y'all know me. With this change of seasons, I feel like somebody underestimated who you were. And it's like your coworkers only get one side of you. Or like I said, there's something about we underestimated them. And you guys are just so much more. Maybe you guys have multiple endeavors. Maybe you guys are doing multiple things. It's like there's someone here that is very shocked about what it is that you do for work. At work or outside of work. It's like your potential is really throwing people off because they're like, wow. Okay, so that's for one. And I feel like it's all these messages in combination, especially if you work with multiple people. With this page of swords, y'all could be have been at this job for a while. Y'all are either working at a job that you've been working at, um, and you've been like literally showing everybody like, hey, I could do this, and you're about to promote or just promote it. That's one. Or you just started a job not too long ago, but with this page of swords, it's almost like you're not even new like you're new but you're not even new because it's like you were able to catch on to stuff a lot quicker than other people you were able to promote a lot faster and get the the big the big wigs okay you were able to get their attention before other people around you that have been working at this establishment way longer than you they've been waiting for this opportunity you were able to get a lot quicker okay that's for two there's a lot of gossip around something that you guys do either like i said in work like your work that you do um or outside of work i do feel like there are some people that want to be in your circle but you guys just you don't like y'all might like to work with people but i feel like y'all have a big energy alone very big loner energy coming through here. If you have to work with people, you'll be a team player. But y'all really don't have to. You can make things happen. Literally, I just got a visual. Y'all can make things happen without other people. And someone is mad about that, but then there's also a lot of people that like you. So it's giving me a half and half where there's some people that are very jealous and upset. But there's also like an envy turn or an admiration turned envy here. But there's also a lot of people that admire you. Some of you guys can have people that work under you or maybe there's other co-workers that you are very friendly with. I do feel like there's a lot of gossip around you being in this Nine of Pentacles energy. I just had a blank. That's the energy too. I feel like some of your co-workers don't know what to make of you because it's almost like you're so different or you show them this side of this nine of pentacles i keep getting this un we underestimated them 
How could we have done that? A lot of y'all, though, I ain't gonna lie. Um, another storyline that's coming through is people know that you do not like your job. You don't want to work there. <laughs> you are waiting for your great escape. Literally, people know that you could be doing something else. That's really what it's giving. Whether it be you could promote and do better than where you're at now. Like, basically, like, take another position and do way better. Like, your potential is greater. Or there's people in your job that just know you don't like this job. You're planning to leave. Whether you think people don't know or not, you're planning to make a great escape. Y'all might have just put y'all two weeks in. I don't know. Or y'all planning to. And there's just an energy of people know you're about to do that and they know you're about to be successful. And... Another separate message for people that are thinking about leaving their job or are waiting for something to come through um, so that they can kind of go solo or maybe start another um, position somewhere else or even this job is coming, okay? That's what's around the corner. So if y'all have been going through a lot of conflict at work, that's that energy shit that I got to talk about. Energy vampires, lower vibrational energies. At the end of the day, y'all, we are constantly every day, every hour, every second in a spiritual warfare. These energies know that you have a big blessing coming towards you. I mean, look at this nine of pentacles two of pentacles and this ace of pentacles this is an offer and there's going to be jealousy around that offer some of y'all gonna be leaving this job and or like leaving this department and y'all won't even have to see these people again and they still gonna be talking about you so somebody in your environment knows that you are about to get an offer that they feel like they deserve there's a lot of jealousy around you and what you are but there's also a lot of admiration and i just heard from spirit not to emphasize too much on the jealousy because they want you to know that a lot of people actually admire you but i don't know who this is this might be a very prominent energy like a co-worker or something or like well obviously we're talking about co-workers but a co-worker or like a boss you get what i'm saying so let's see what else can you tell me about this this um negative this lower vibrational energy for pile one with their co-workers and their feelings the page of wands okay yeah, you guys just, I'm telling you, you guys are just different. You guys bring this very innovative, inspirational, motivational type of energy. And maybe you guys are in a very analytical job, but you're super creative. It's like you guys have, I just heard jack of all trades. Like you guys have the it factor that a lot of people at your work just don't have. So there's going to be some people that are a little bit jealous because they're just like, why can't I do that? Or like, why is this person so different like you guys are so different like that is you oh my gosh i just heard black sheep when i looked at the black cat so a lot of your co-workers it, there's like a mystery about you but there's also an openness this is how they view you y'all even if you don't talk to them it's like there's something that's very intriguing very mysterious a lot of people have a lot of good things to say about you but there's also someone here that's jealous of the fact that you are very creative we also have awakening that's the second time that we didn't got the judgment card Queen of Wands, you know what I just heard? <sighs> this is what I'm saying. At the end of the day, whoever has these negative feelings towards you, I don't think they show it, okay? And they know, and it could be someone that's close to you. What else do they need to know about this person? But they know they shouldn't feel like that with this Six of Cups. They know that they shouldn't feel like that. It's like, you know what you might... This is a separate message, Pile One. When you meet people, this got to be... <laughs> Let me shut up. Let me shut up. Let me shut up. Okay. When you meet people, right? Y'all might commonly hear from anybody, coworkers, whoever, that they see themselves in you. The reason why somebody at your job is looking at you in this envy, more envy place, but it's still admiration, is because there's a lot of things that you can do that they wish they would have done at your age or they wish they would have done earlier in their career it's like the things that you are doing the the lengths that you are going to reach where it is that you want to go they wish they had the inspo the inspiration for uh, my people that don't know what inspo means they wish they had that same drive so they look at you as this queen of wands but here they are and they could have that same they could do the same things that you're doing i mean not like you of course but they could do it but instead they decide to sit back so it's almost making me feel bad for this person because there's a lot of wallowing a lot of watching you tap into all the things that you want to do. And this could even be outside of this job. So for like a couple of y'all, like I was saying earlier, y'all might work in a corporate place, but like have a side business in spirituality like me. Okay, I'm in the military, right? But I do all this spiritual stuff. It blows people's mind. And if they really knew what my job was, they would really be mind blowing. Like 
me personally, I don't know why people are like this because I just, I'm just i just being myself, but when I tell people like my hobbies and stuff like that, even outside of this, it's like a lot of people just cannot keep up and a lot of people just cannot form like their mind around the fact that I'm just a multi-dimensional person. And I feel like it's like that with y'all. With this Queen of Wands and this Awakening, y'all are the it factor. That's how your coworkers feel about you and that's what they know. And I feel like that's what I was going to say earlier. Someone knows that you are not meant to. This is for somebody. You are not meant to be at your job. You are not meant to be in this position. You are meant to do greater things. It's like people know that you are meant for something greater. And I feel like it's more, I just heard intuitive, more creative, maybe fashion, maybe it's like something that's not, I, I don't want to say corporate because some of y'all, it's going to be a different message, but it's like, it's more soul based. It's more soul based. It's like people around you are like, why is she, for example, like someone at your job or people at your job are just like, why is she in this job when she could be probably like a, a singer or she could be big on the outside? Why, with the mind that she has, with the talents that she has, why is she wasting her talents here? So that's a message for somebody. And with this change of seasons and this Six of Cups, if you guys have been wanting to pursue something that is more um, in, in line with what your child self wanted to do. I'm telling y'all, I really think it's like, I, I said this in one of my readings, like some people are just meant to do what the world thinks is unorthodox. It's just like it, you're meant to do it. This is another thing. So power one, we have forgiveness with the number 15. What's going on with my eyeballs? The number five grounded. Someone could be a Capricorn here. And then we also have the number 44, um, compassion. So I feel like that's, it's almost like people feel guilty for ever having negative feelings towards you because you're naturally a very nice person. Um, and if there's anybody at your job that did something that was a little bit backhanded, they want your forgiveness. And I feel like people, this might be a separate message, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I feel like you guys have a way of showing kindness or staying grounded when people try you or when they do these petty remarks or put you in certain positions that they know aren't right, whether this is like loading you with uh, more hours without paying you. It's something unjust, right? Um... There's something about that that makes people around you feel guilty for how they treated you. It's like there's people now feeling guilty about how they um, underestimated you. And with this grounded energy, I just got like the whole, I don't know why my mind works like this, but this just gave me underdog. And let me tell you why. I feel like when y'all first started or how your coworkers viewed you in the beginning, they viewed you as this ram but your horns were smaller. They didn't realize, I'm telling you, it's giving underestimated you. They didn't realize that when they were throwing dirt, they, all they was doing was fertilizing the plant. They was giving you stepping stones so that you could really bloom into the flower that you are, into the big dog that you is, okay? So it's a lot of like looking and being like, damn, I shouldn't have done that. Damn, I want their forgiveness. Damn. And this is the thing too. A lot of you guys are about to be in a high position, however that resonates. And people are going to wish they never, ever treated you the way that they did. Okay. Top of the um, deck, we have <laughs> the Six of Pentacles and we also have the Knight of Cups. Okay. Yes. Some of you guys, I'm not going to lie, the career field that you're in, you might not be in this. You might be leaving to go do something that's more, like I said, soul-based. That's for some of you guys. But just know... That you guys are going to be, um, okay, yeah, yeah, <laughs> financially taken care of, okay? And you're also going to be happy while doing your job. And that might not sound like a big thing, but there's a lot of people, even somebody that might be watching this, so please don't take offense, that do work, but they don't love what they do. They, they don't have the luxury of getting the money and loving what they do. Some of them just get the money. Some of them just love what they do and don't get the money. You know what I'm saying? But, and I would rather be on the either love what I do and not get the money or like, you know, love what I do and, and get the money besides, or like before the other one. But anyway, yeah. Y'all are going to be in a situation, and I think, I don't know why people know this. They either physically know this or that that's that spiritual, like I said. People know that you are destined for more, and you really don't need them <laughs> to get there. The blessings are coming, so whoever tries to put up blocks in front of you, it's not going to work. You guys are still charging through. Um, keep your heart first, okay? You know, whatever it is that y'all been doing, I feel like y'all could have really been snapping on people, but you didn't. You decided to stay in this compassionate energy. 
You are a force just like this elephant, but you are also like a gentle giant. And people hate that and admire it at the same time. So yes, pile one, that is your spread. Please let me know how it resonates and we're gonna move on to okay, pile, pile two. two. What's up? What's good? So this is the thing. Pile two, let me see what I have for y'all. Y'all might be drawn to pile one because I think pile two and pile one were actually getting mixed in with each other. Um, I'm hearing intrusion, intrusion. <laughs> let me tell you, okay. Um, really quick, Yeba's Heartbreak by Drake. So again, Yeba's Heartbreak by Drake. Y'all might want to listen to that or maybe you guys like Drake. Um, y'all might have also, I think y'all was giving me a vibe that y'all might have been dating somebody that y'all worked with or liked somebody and there was like some weird shit that happened or maybe you and a coworker were friends. There's a real big like make up the breakup. So however that resonates, whether it be like in a friendly platonic way and just a coworker way or like y'all was actually dating somebody in the scene, I don't really know. I also am picking up on that this person could also smoke too. Someone's name could start with the letter M, A, or C. Let me see what else I have for y'all. Yeah, I keep getting intrusion alert. Oh my gosh, that Erica Badu song is coming in. Wait. Hold up, I can't remember the uh, lyrics. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, Danger. Danger by Erica Badu. I don't know why that's coming in. I keep seeing these red lights, ring the alarm. What's going on? Okay, hold on. Intrusion, intrusion, intrusion alert. Okay. I'm gonna have to look at the cards to see how that's coming in. But two things that's coming to mind. I don't know if y'all took somebody's position. That's the one thing. Two, someone could think that you're very nosy or maybe there's, or you're closed off. You're either super nosy or you're closed off and maybe everybody's always trying to get in your business. I'm trying to remember if this was the pile that at first y'all cards wasn't coming out. It's almost like people don't know what to think of you. Yes, pile two. Is it pile two or is that pile three? Fuck, these, these fucking, um, Readings is probably gonna go hand in hand. Oh no, this is for pile three, okay. Cause there's another, there was something I was about to say and I'm like, wait a second, but y'all might be also drawn to pile three. Y'all might be drawn to all the piles, but let's see. We have morning dew girl now, I remember. Okay, I, I remember now. Pile two, take what resonates, leave the rest. These are very spe specific messages that are coming um, through. Someone's name could be Samantha. Either you guys are someone's boss or you're very bossy. Yeah, that's what was coming through. Uh, all for you and Power 3. I'm bossy. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, like that one was coming through. Um, or that's what was coming through. And I just heard blanked out. Okay, so it's almost like people don't know what to make of you. One minute I want to say like maybe you guys are going through some type of struggles at work. So take which story resonates, girl, because it's a lot coming down. Some of y'all might be going through struggles at work and people might not know what's going on, but they kind of know what's going on. Or they know something's going on. So they think that you're always like a wreck. Um, but I don't want to say it in a bad way. They just kind of know that things are happening. But for some of y'all, I'm picking up on y'all be raining on people's parade. Like it's almost like there's something about... It's almost giving me like y'all have a higher position or you guys have to rain on people's parade for whatever reason. So like if you're like someone's boss or like you have people that you have to look over, you know, you kind of can't help it. But you got to like you got to I just heard apply the law. So it's like people don't like that. But let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Because I really feel like, oh, y'all was the pile. Because y'all came up as the queen of swords. There is somebody at work temperance that feels like you. Let me tell you, there's competition here. Someone looks at you as like competition or as competition, but I'm not getting like a negative type of competition. I'm almost getting like a healthy competition. Or you work with somebody, because with this Queen of Wands and this Queen of Swords, this could be your energy and the Temperance card. Come on now, this is giving like I'm in a big wig position, okay? Like I'm top dog here, or that's just your energy. We also have the Chariot card, and we also have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, so. Pile two, I have to be honest, regardless of whether you're in a high position or not, your energy comes off as very authoritative, okay? I'm picking up on like, you guys don't play any games. So what I just got from this, oh my God, I just thought of one of my MTIs when he used to tell us, uh, oh my gosh, what did he used to say? Not wipe them tears, he used to say something. And it was like the meanest thing <laughs> ever. But it's almost like, um, yeah, I'm hearing no pain, no gain. 
So either you guys are going through a conflict at work and there's a lot of like people that have to be involved like HR. Y'all could even be military and maybe your leadership just views you overall as this morning do girl or someone that's going through a lot. You could have a family tragedy. So there's a lot of talk coming amongst them on what they should do with you. That's for one. Take that as it resonates. There's a lot of talk around you. But for others, I'm not going to lie. I see y'all being in a, a, a top position or y'all have like big wig energy with this queen of swords temperance queen of wands the chariot and the knight of swords this could be y'all there's a very ambitious energy y'all look good sexy okay y'all got the gift of the gab y'all also have the balance that you need if you got to cut somebody um slice them up slice them and dice them with your words make a you know a, a firm decision okay and cut somebody off y'all can do that no problem it's like you guys are very driven you guys might also have a lot of air and fire in your chart but there's like a balance to you so if y'all had to like literally cut somebody out or set boundaries with them at work i see where their energy is coming towards you and they're like or their energy towards you is kind of like damn like she kind of um <laughs> or damn like he kind of he kind of stiff with me like someone feels like you have this stiff i don't play type of energy but sometimes you show a different side so it's just giving me that people know that they have to respect you but normally when we're in those positions, if you know, you know, when you have to be in that high ranking position, you're going to have people that don't like the fact that you play by the rules and you are very serious about your job. I'm just getting a real big energy of this person is very serious. And we also have the hummingbird joy. So this is the thing. I feel like if people were to get to know you outside of work, they would see your more sensitive side. And some of you guys might show it at work because with the temperance card, there is a little bit of a balance. Um, but you guys, I feel like people think you're very driven, but the people that you might've had to like go back and forth with or like stand up against, they might be like, I'm, I'm seeing a dog in the corner look like sad. They're just like, almost like they're scared of you. Like, I feel like people have like a fear towards you, but it's also like a fear and a respect. That's what I was saying earlier though. There could be someone, um, that feels like you're in competition with them right now i'm viewing it as healthy competition but i feel like if you guys are competing with someone yeah that's coming through if you guys are competing with someone for a position i feel like you guys are going to end up getting it and that's going to cause some conflict at work but i mean hey <laughs> hey that ain't your problem girl that ain't your problem let me see what else is coming out can you tell me more for pile two sorry i had to grease up um for pile two y'all might have had some co-workers that kind of um underestimated y'all at first too y'all could be younger and there's older people around you and you guys are like i'm telling y'all y'all might want to watch pile one y'all might need to watch all the piles actually there's a lot of like controversy at work with y'all whether y'all know it or not i feel like y'all be in your own world but for whatever reason people pay attention to you like there's always eyes on you for whatever reason so pile two how does pile two's co-workers feel about them the Ace of Inspiration, yes, we have the Ace of Wands, okay. The Hermit, I'm telling y'all, y'all see what I'm saying? There's a lot of big energy around you, especially with that Ace of Wands, and like I said, with this Queen of Swords, the Queen of Wands, but the Hermit, I feel like y'all stay either to yourself, have a lot of wisdom, have a lot of intelligence, have a lot of potential, Y'all rather be more alone or you guys are in a position where you have to be at the top, um, you know, like someone's boss. So it's like you guys have to make the decisions. You guys have to be like the, the head. You're like the head of the horse. I hope that's the right thing to say. But like, it's like you're the head of the operations or that's how people view you. So maybe your coworkers, it's almost like you always have an idea. You always have like a way of helping everyone, but there's like a weirdness to you to them i don't think this is weird but there's like a weirdness to you because it's like this you have such this big energy or such this like very intuitive nature or this smartness this intelligence and, and just your energy even if you don't give this off verbally it's something about your energy that people are intrigued by but you also stay to yourself so people are like they don't know how to take you because you have this big energy. Y'all are my people that if people just got to know you, they would know that you were cool. But just off first glance, some of y'all might have a Scorpio rising. You could be very intimidating. People see you as very intimidating. 
You have this go, go type of energy, even if you don't feel like you do, I'm telling y'all, because people tell me all the time that I am very intimidating, okay? And it could be maybe your stature, but I'm telling y'all, it's just an energy that you bring in. It's, there's like an, and it's nothing to be ashamed of, but it's like an intimidating type, well, this is the thing. If they intimidated, I just feel like they insecure and they need to work on that. But really how it should be received is you just have this strong, I don't want to say a strong personality. For some of y'all, it could be. There's just a big energy around you. Even if you go in the room and was quiet, people are going to be looking at you. People are going to be shaking in their boots. People are going to be intrigued. People are going to want to be around you. People are going to want to listen to what you got to say. And you could be like, why? But I don't know. It's just the energy that you carry. And that's something that people have told me. And it's like, but I didn't say anything. They're like, it's just your energy, okay? So something about your energy is big. And I want to tell you guys something. How should Pile 2 channel this? Because I feel like a lot of you guys don't know this about yourself. Knight of Wands, a lot of fire. And we have the devil. Okay, let me tell y'all what I'm getting with this devil. Because I'm an intuitive reader. Capricorn energy coming through. Listen, the moon. I was just about to say stop hiding. If y'all are not reaching your full potential out of fear um if you're like doing a lot of obsessing about what ifs but not really carrying it, it out stop that okay don't be worried about how people feel keep going after whatever it is that you want to go after for some of you guys there might be a need to work in silence and we also have the justice card okay yeah y'all might want to watch power one because yeah and i was, I was just about to say y'all might want to watch power one because i feel like someone did y'all wrong at work um, and honey, yeah, justice is going to be served with this. But this is what I was going to tell y'all. If y'all want to go into law, um, some type of like maybe schooling of some sort to pursue something. This could even be something to do with math or science, astrology. I see you guys being very good at that. Uh, maybe even something with the weather. That's for some of you guys. Or there's something here about the elements. Maybe you want to be like a spiritualist and study like the elements. I'm not really sure. But there's a need for you guys to become, it's like real, this is giving real big self-mastery. If y'all can harness who you are and really recognize who you guys are, I'm telling y'all, y'all can bring that house down, okay? Step outside of illusion, lack mentality, addictive mindsets that are not serving you. It's almost like there's an addiction of thinking a certain way or doing certain things that might not be serving you, that might be holding you back. Because I feel like y'all could have this energy, this Queen of Swords, Temperance, Queen of Wands, the Chariot. Y'all could have that, boom, that factor. But it's like, this is how you truly view yourself. The Morning Dew Girl. It's like you don't see that big energy, but people always tell you. I bet y'all, y'all are the people that people always tell you, you have such big potential and you just be confused because you're just like, how do they, where did they get that from? So I don't know what that is, Power 2. That might be something that we need to tap into and check into. Why do we feel like that? But yes, Power 2, that is your spread. Let me see one more thing that Power 2 needs to know in regards to just work in general. The Nine of Swords. Yes, I feel like you guys... Whatever y'all have been keeping down and suppressing voice-wise or whatever, like, talent y'all have been suppressing, yes, no, we need to come out of that. Um, this could also be representative of a period that you're going through, maybe an overthinking, um, feeling a little bit insecure. Honey, the reason why y'all are always getting shoved in the face with opportunities or just, I don't know, or even, like, conflicts with people is because you carry this energy. It's not your fault, but you just carry this big energy. And it, I don't know, people don't like it. You're a big stepper out here. You just need to know that. There's always going to be some conflict around you because you're just a big stepper. The justice card, when y'all come into places, and I feel like y'all might have did this at work, you, it's like law and order with you. You come in, you let people know, hey, this ain't right. Y'all might be going through a lot of stuff at work, or you notice that when you're, um working or like work at different places there's always something i don't feel like it's something huge but y'all let people and y'all put people in a place and it's like there's a respect for you but there's also like a fear of you because you make people have to look in the mirror and realize that what they're doing is not right or like make a business realize that how they've been operating ain't right and there's a better way okay so y'all bring that Y'all bringing that, that thing and that energy, okay? So yes, pile two, that is your spread. Please let me know how it resonates and we're gonna move on to pile three. three. Um, I'm gonna just let y'all know, I have some other cards over here too for somebody, um, but let me look at my thing real quick. I have music, 
bossy okay y'all might be drawn to pile two i think i told pile two that y'all they might be drawn to pile three but y'all might be also okay something about y'all energy is coming through as very young um so i don't know if people see you as childlike i did hear childish um but it's not for everybody some of y'all could also just bring a lot of fun to work they think you have a fun spirit so anytime you bring fun to work and laugh and a lot of people ain't used to that you know you are gonna have some people that might think you childish or like you're just always optimistic you know the people that's unhappy um you might have those people that get annoyed but for others like i feel like there are people that really especially if you have like a coworker that you might talk to i feel like they like talking to you even if you don't see them as a friend they probably like come around you and you'd be like why is this person always around me but like they like talking to you for others i also feel like you have a tendency to be a little bit bossy so maybe you're in a higher position and sometimes you have to like lay the law down or like i don't know you be setting people straight i keep hearing khalees um bossy da -da 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 -da. like i don't know <laughs> so anyway we have the king of cups the page of cups that's what it was um giving some of y'all either y'all is young in spirit or you are young at your job and um yeah i don't know like four of cups let me tell y'all <laughs> what i think okay let me tell you what i think in the world card in reverse okay because i gotta i gotta be honest i want you guys to look at those cards right but these are the other cards that i was talking about that i feel like are for somebody with this wheel of fortune three of pentacles the five of wands and the ace of wands either y'all just started working at this job or y'all been working at this job and there's been some conflict and there's been a higher up that's had to get involved to set it straight either separate y'all this is giving me a young energy because i feel like this is real high school -y. this is really no offense but this is real like high school there was some drama at work um bigger people had to get involved or other people had to get involved to separate us and set the record straight um and y'all might have lost y'all job be on the brink of losing y'all job that's not for everybody y'all like i i hate to ha had gone there but i'm just saying some of y'all might feel like y'all about to lose our job or y'all thinking about walking away from the job because there's too much drama because what this was giving me is like I don't know if there's been conflict at work or there was like a friend group or a group that you used to be around and y'all kind of like there was like disharmony I'm picking up on though for y'all there was some type of disharmony that happened in the workplace um and due to this it's like at this point y'all might be getting past it and there's harmony being restored but i feel like somebody ended up losing their job because of this it might not be you it might be somebody else so like if you if you know what i'm talking about yeah i feel like that person's about to lose their job okay um but with this page of cups and this king of cups i'm telling y'all there's two different storylines because what i wanted to say was with this page of cups and this king of cups there's almost like an energy of you could do more, but I feel like y'all don't really like y'all job. Do y'all like y'all job? Like, I don't know. I feel like you guys want to do something else. That's what it was giving because I have music right here. There's, for those that are like artists or like, I don't know if you be at your, on like on your headphones at work or you're always talking about music. It's like y'all like, there's somebody's energy here that kind of like breaks the rules and I'm keep rubbing my face so I feel like so, that frustrates somebody but there's somebody at your job that feels like you could be pursuing music or you could be pursuing something else or like why are they here like why won't they go pursue what they really want to but I'm not gonna lie what I keep getting is bored and unbothered I feel like there's somebody here that doesn't like their job or maybe your job is so easy it's something about this that's not making somebody that's making somebody around you upset Either y'all don't take y'all job easy, like easy. Either y'all don't take y'all job serious, and that pisses somebody off. Or there's an energy of like the job just comes easy to you, and someone else feels like they have to work super hard. So there's a little bit of jealousy here. Um, y'all might have took somebody's position. Um, y'all might be for some other ones. Y'all might be getting in trouble at work, or there's been some conflict at work. There's just something weird going on here because with this King of Cups and this Justice card, I don't feel like whoever I'm supposed to be talking to, I don't feel like that's y'all energy. I feel like this Page of Cups is like the energy. Someone feels like you don't never want to take shifts. And I don't blame you, honey. It's almost like someone's trying to offer you something with this Four of Cups, and you're just like, uh, no, thank you. Ah, no, thank you. This ain't really what I'm going to be doing. So, like, it's almost like y'all don't take it serious. You're like, you might be calling off or, like, y'all just know y'all don't have to. And somebody doesn't like that. So, it's almost giving me, for example, if there was a boss that was like, hey, do you think you could work these extra hours? You're like, no, I'm good. <laughs> and they're just like, why doesn't this person, like, take it serious? Or why don't they do more? And you're just like, I don't really have to. Okay? Um, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't know what's going on. Let me see. Let me see. Clear it up. Clear it up. 
Why the world card in reverse? For some of you guys, um, if, if you think, ooh, for some, I'm telling y'all, I got multiple storylines, y'all. This is going to be my, like, pile that's going to piss me off. So let me tell you. Some of y'all, there's something that happened at work that you might think is over, but it's not over. It's not over. But I do feel like there was some type of disharmony at work that might have been clearing up. But something's not over. Something's not over. Something's going to come back around with that uh, the world card in reverse. Now we have the seven of pentacles. Y'all might be waiting to leave this job. I'm telling y'all, like, it's giving me power one where, like, people know you don't even want this job. But maybe you're, like, you might be focusing more on your music career or on something different. And people are just like, okay, like, you know what I mean? The muse of materials. That's the king of pentacles. It's almost like your coworker. Oh, can I be honest, you guys? This is the thing with the empress card. I feel like your coworkers. There are some that respect you, but there are also some that think you're lazy. But y'all get the job done. That's what I'm picking up on. It's almost like you get the job done, you just don't have to work as hard. A lot of you, too, are working in a field where people just don't understand your creative mind. Or you just have, you have this it factor and it comes easily. Like, you don't have to work as hard as other people. And you really don't give a damn. That's what I'm picking up on for Pile 3. And let me see. So how do the coworkers feel about that? It's like, you guys... Y'all can get a promotion by, like, just easily, like, just being. Like, I feel like whatever you guys do or want to do comes naturally, and people feel some type of way about that. So we have the Two of Cups. I do feel like there's someone at work that either likes you or, like, they see you. Like, remember how I said, like, as a friend? They see you as a friend. We have the Knight of Pentacles again, and we have the Two of Pentacles. I feel like y'all be pissing people off because y'all kind of, like, march at the beat of your own drum. If you don't feel like moving speedy gone down... Speedy Gonzalez. If y'all don't feel like moving Speedy Gonzalez, then you just don't move Speedy Gonzalez. You just kind of do what you want to do when you want to do it. I feel like y'all always have y'all headphones in or like y'all just be in y'all own world. Very playful for some of you guys. But it's like maybe y'all joke around a lot at work. I feel like there's people that be watching y'all and they're just like, why don't they get it? Somebody feels like you're about to walk away from this job and this page of pentacles is in reverse. But I'm going to be honest, for my people, especially my younger crowd, Especially if you know this has been like on the verge of happening. I want y'all to be careful um, because there is somebody here. I'm not going to lie. I hate to put this out there, but it's coming through. And I said it earlier, but I tried to walk away from it. But it's here again with this eight of cups in reverse and this page of pentacles in reverse. Someone is going to end up losing their job. Okay. Or like there's going to be a conversation about, look, we're thinking about letting you go. And they might like not do it because the eight of pentacles is in reverse. Um, or someone's either about to lose the job or they're about to quit. I feel like this is my job or my job. This is my people that like just got into a job and they just don't really like it. They're kind of just, you know, shoot the breeze. I don't know, but I am picking up on the energy of someone losing their job. So that's just, oh Lord. Okay. We have the gardener and we have abracadabra. This is giving me real big childlike energy. So there's also for my people that don't resonate with that. I just feel like there's a lot of there's a lot of bigger energies coming around you. Um, so if you guys did start something new, I feel like um, for my other people, especially if you know your coworkers have been very nice, there are people that really genuinely want to help you around the workplace and they feel like you have a lot of potential to go from that um, page of cups to this king of cups. You just need a little bit of diligence or like a little bit of um, patience and like, you know, someone working with you because they feel like you are very diligent. So it's almost like the people around you, they're willing to help you put roots in the ground to help you excel at work. You know, that's for my people where you know, like, nah, like my, my people at my job, they love me. It's almost like you guys are new at your job or like maybe you're like a new person at the job or you started something new and like, you know, you're at the office. I'm seeing you at the office with everybody. You're meeting new people. Some people could even be underestimating like just how big you are. You guys are going to be very much so be shocking. I keep stuttering. You guys are going to be uh, very much so shocking somebody about your or with your abilities, if that makes sense. Woo! Okay. Anyway, so we have Dolphin Play. Someone could live in Florida. And we also have Phoenix Renewal. Someone could be a Scorpio. Rising from the ashes playing. Yes, I'm telling y'all, somebody be joking around too much at work. That's for somebody. But we already touched on that. We're not going to keep going in. For those where it's not that, I just feel like you guys bring this energy to work. Um, when I think of play, I think of a child. So it's like 
And then we have the Phoenix here. It's like a rebirth. Some of you guys, if y'all lost y'all job already, or if they talk about you maybe losing your job, I feel like they'll give you another chance. For others, there's going to be a real big period of rising out of a tough period coming up and being in this abracadabra energy where it's like, no, look, give me another chance. I'm going to show y'all that I could be serious. Or like, you know, I want to show you guys that I can really do my job really well. It's like, it's giving growth, okay? Somebody here... It's going to be growing in their career and they're going to get another chance at something. But like I was saying with my other people, I know this is going all over the place. I'm sorry, pile three, but y'all just happen to be the pile today. Um, with that garden energy, I really do get a sweet energy from this. There's different storylines coming through, so put yourself where you need to put yourself. I really do feel like there's somebody here where it's like you're at your work. You may might have just moved to the area moved it's like a new job it's like oh my gosh like i'm here i just got my own office space and people want to help you you know what i mean so for those that that resonates just understand that yeah your circumstances might have been a little bit shitty at first or uncomfortable but you guys are going to rise literally from the ashes this is a new start um for those that might have just lost their job this is what you're walking into that might have been what was going on before i just got that boom thank you spirit and this is what you're walking into and i feel like whatever this is you guys are going to be very like good at this and you guys are gonna go from her to her whether masculine or feminine it's like a real big uptick in the energy and it's like a real big um level up okay so yeah i really do feel like that background energy is what y'all was going through i feel like i just read somebody's whole past career like with all their careers and like this is where you're headed so regardless of how you flip it skip it rub it down i just feel like you guys are going to be if you would like to really proving your worth and excelling at what it is that you do even though you're in a f unfamiliar spot right now that's for somebody okay some of y'all might be staying in this job some of y'all might be walking away from the job new position getting some training i don't know so yes how freaking three okay that is your spread. I mean, there's some mixed messages coming through about how your coworkers feel about you, but you know, fuck them. You and that abracadabra manifestation energy. Some of you guys could like to do astrology. Um, and there might be some people that might be intimidated by you, like underneath the surface. I don't know. But yes, pile three, that was your spread. Please let me know how it resonates. And I'll see you guys in the comments.